we're going to be making a rock base here for a bear today. As you can see we used some 2x4s to build the frame. This bear will be elevated on the front so we built our elevated sections with 2x4s also. Now we're going to be using some wire mesh here to build this rock. We're just going to take it here and we're going to cut some strips out of it and we're going to shape it around the 2x4s to give us the shape of the rock that we're looking for here. Once we have our mesh cut up in a little bit of strips we're going to kind of shape it around. We're going to staple it down here in a couple spots and we're just going to kind of shape the rock give it a nice rounded look. We don't want to go too square over where the 2x4s are. If we do that we will end up seeing it when we do the finish work. It will look like a board under there instead of a nice round looking rock. We're going to cut the holes out where the threaded rods will go through. We'll staple it down there beside that so that it doesn't pop up or anything on us. This other foot's slightly higher so we'll put a couple shims in here and we'll staple them down. And we'll just continue to shape this rock here. And we'll just continue to give it the shape we want, staple it down. We'll add a couple pieces here to it. And we're just going to take a thin wire and attach them together until we Kind of make it all one solid piece. Now that we have our rock shaped pretty well the way we want it, we're going to use some plaster strips here. And we're just going to place them over here. I have a bucket of water here. And I'll just dip the plaster strips in it. And I will end up working it the whole way across this base here. We just want to cover all this wire mesh with this. It'll just give us a little bit of strength to it. And we're just going to repeat this process till it's done. And we'll probably end up doing two coats of it just to give it a little bit of strength. At this point we've let this plaster strips dry. We're ready to add a rock mix to the now this is a pre-mix rock mix that you can get from Matuska. I believe most any of the supply companies carry a pre-mix. I know there's some recipes you can do to make your own rock. But we're just going to take this rock mix, cover all the plaster here. Now some of the lower spots we will end up putting dirt on so we don't necessarily have to cover those. But we want to kind of get this over, especially on the high points where it is going to look like a rock. Once we end up getting this all covered, we will take a damp sponge or a balled up rag or anything like that and we will add a little bit of a texture to it. And it will just get, kind of give you a little bit of the texture that you get on a rock. We will then let our rock mix dry for at least overnight. And once it's dry, we're going to start making it look like a rock. Now I'm just going to water down some black tempera paint. And I'm just going to take a brush and I'm going to go across this whole rock mix. And that will just kind of give us a nice base color for this rock. It will give us the color that we are looking for here. We have it all covered up here. Uh, let me zoom in here real quick and kind of show you the texture you get here. And now we're just going to take a couple colors in a spritz bottle and we're just going to spritz it down. I have a brown temper watered down. That I'll first spritz on here. By spraying this brown down, it'll kind of be more on the surface. It won't get down into the cracks where the black is. And it'll just leave a nice look. We will then take a damp cloth and just take some of the brown color off of the high spots. We will then put a green color and spritz over it and kind of give you a little bit of a moss look underneath. Once again, we're going to take a wet rag and kind of take it off the high spots. Then we'll go back over it with a, a black. We'll spray that through the spray. And that'll pretty much get us the rock color we're looking for then. As you can see, wiping down the high spots and making them a little lighter gives us a really natural look of the rock. We're now ready to start the scenery on this base here. I do use some peat moss for the dirt. I use some glue. I like to use a little bit of these little pebbles here. 
they kind of give a nice look and put a little more glue down we're gonna stick these rocks right into that and then we're gonna add the dirt to it now this bear was killed in a kind of an area that had a lot of ferns so we're gonna put a lot of ferns in this base and that'll kind of give us a nice little look We'll put this fern here and we'll end up stapling it down so that it'll stay. We're just going to kind of repeat this process on the rest of this base now. We're going to put the glue down, put the dirt down, put some rocks in there, and add some more ferns to it. And that'll get us, for the most part, a nice looking base. We'll still add a couple little touches afterward. Now we're going to take our static gun and we're going to make a really nice looking moss uh, we're going to use these static fibers and the nice part about these they give you a nice look but they're nice they're artificial so they stay green you don't have to worry about any fading with these I'm going to use a medium green 12 millimeter on this one and a light green 4 millimeter on top of that we're going to take a little bit of fiber tack to fill it up I'm going to draw a bear since we're mounting a bear I'll draw it here in the glue here We will now level this glue out and we will be ready to add our fibers to it. We will then take our static gun and we will lay down our fibers starting with that 12 millimeter medium green then going over it with our 4 millimeter light green. And you can see here with our static gun you can just see how it raises these fibers gives us a nice little depth of our moss look. And at this point we will repeat this process on a few different spots on this base. Add the fiber tack down, spread it out, and add our moss to it. We'll get this moss all on here. We will let this fiber tack glue dry and then we will take a sealer glue and just spray over all the rock and all the paint that we did earlier. Then we'll be pretty much ready then to add the wood trim on the base and have it all finished up. Attach our bear to it, and then we will be done. Here's a little bit of the bear finished and on the base.